This video is presented by the Liquor and Cannabis Regulation Branch and talks about documents you must keep on hand if you serve liquor in your food primary, liquor primary, or manufacturing establishment. From time to time, your inspector may visit and inspect documents related to your business. To ensure you are prepared, let's talk about the documents you must have available for inspection at all times. First, make sure your liquor license is posted in a prominent place within your service area. Ensure that you have a copy of your floor plan that has been approved and stamped by the Liquor and Cannabis Regulation Branch. It should always be kept on hand and it's ideal that you print it in color. Make sure your liquor register is available for inspection. The register must contain information on all liquor purchased for your establishment, as well as all transfers and any discarded product. You must have receipts for all purchases. Your register should account for every bottle, can, or keg currently in your establishment, and it's a good idea to keep it in date order. It can be in paper or digital format. If you wish to store liquor off-site, you must notify the Liquor and Cannabis Regulation Branch, and you must maintain a list of off-site storage areas. Remember that liquor must not be stored off-site at a private residence. You and all of your managers and servers must complete BC's mandatory course on responsible liquor service, called Serving It Right. You must keep a list with the name of each staff person, the Serving It Right certificate number, and the expiry date of their certificate. Make sure you keep this list up to date as staff come and go, and as they renew their certificates. You must have a price list showing the types of liquor you serve, the size of each drink, and the price. Your price list should also indicate whether taxes are included and what taxes apply. This price list should be available to your inspector as well as to customers. Document any problems you have had with patrons in or around your establishment in an incident log. For example, if you refuse service someone because they are intoxicated, you should document the details of the situation in your incident log. This log must be available to your inspector and to police upon request. If you are a liquor manufacturer, there are additional documents you must have available for inspection. Read more in your Terms and Conditions Handbook under the section Keeping and Producing Documents. Remember that in addition to these records, you must always have your social responsibility materials posted in your establishment. Social responsibility materials are provided to you free of charge and they must be displayed where your patrons can see them in the service area. If you are a liquor manufacturer with a lounge or on-site store, be sure to have copies in those areas. You can access and print copies of the materials from our website under Resources and Information. You may also email us for a copy. All the documents we talked about in this video must be available for inspection at all times. Keep in mind that you may not be in the establishment when your inspector pays a visit, so make sure your staff know where to find these important documents. Let's review the records you must keep for inspection. Your liquor license, the approved floor plan, the liquor register, a list of off-site storage areas, a list of serving at right certificates, the price list, and the incident log and don't forget to display your social responsibility materials. You can find more information on record keeping in your Terms and Conditions Handbook. If you have further questions, talk to your local inspector or contact the Liquor and Cannabis Regulation Branch.